press a small ball of black 50-50 flour and sugar paste mixed into the quaver cavity. You may need to rub a little vegetable fat onto the surface of the paste before inserting it. Use a fine bladed scraper to trim the excess paste. Hold it at a low angle with your finger applying pressure ahead of the blade to prevent the paste from being pushed from the mould. Trim from the centre towards the edge, smooth and then turn the mould to complete. Use a sharp point to release before peeling out. Press some cream paste into the violin. Ease and stretch the paste to make sure that it reaches and fills right to the edges of the cavity. You can find more general information on this product range on our video on how to use the cell shapes moulds. Trim away the excess with the fine edge of a scraper. Your finger should apply pressure ahead of it to stop the paste from moving and either distorting the design or being dragged out of the cavity. Press and smooth before turning to remove the excess from the other end. Release using a scriber or similar tool at several points around the design especially those small vulnerable parts and then peel from the mould. Straighten and leave to dry. You could make a small spike which could be added to the base of the violin to make a cello or double bass. Obviously take into account the scale if wanting to use several instruments at once for your cake design. It is important to paint up a lighter cream paste so that when the colour is added light and dark tones can be achieved rather than only one shade. Mix the chestnut powder with a tiny amount of vegetable fat so that it can be applied in a controlled manner rather than it migrating as it is added. Too high a fat content ratio could make the surface quite greasy, preventing good colour application, so keep the fat content extremely low. A fairly firm, flat bristle brush when moved with the circular motion will assist in getting the colour into the grooves, etc. Paint a tiny area at the base of the violin with gum glue and attach a tiny piece of black paste to create the chin plate. Press with the Dresden tool to flatten into shape. Use a black edible pen to add definition to the characteristic grooves. Add darker shades to the tailpiece and fingerboard 
and finally the sound post. Many cake decorators would find it difficult to pipe really fine strings so close together. If you know that the violin will not be eaten, you could use fine white paper covered wires. Lay them in place on your workboard and use a small piece of micropore tape centrally placed to attach them together. Being low tack, it will hold the wires in place but will not leave a sticky mark when removed. Dip one end of the strings into the edible glue and add a tiny piece of paste to secure them in place. Squeeze and then trim as necessary. Repeat at the other end. Once the paste has dried, remove the micropore, colour and they will be ready to attach into place on the violin. You are likely to require a fine black edible pen to draw in between the buttons. Powder colour mixed with vegetable fat will colour the larger areas more quickly when applied using a brush. Rub the brush across the black notes being careful not to touch the white keys. You have to be careful making authentically coloured instruments. Items decorated with gold or silver colourings should be removed before cutting the cake, so notify your customers of this accordingly.